Meryl Streep, Hollywood's greatest living film actress. She is considered by many to be the greatest film actress of all time. Today we'll be taking a look at the life and career of Meryl Streep. Don't wait up. Mary Louise Streep was born June 22, 1949 in Summit, New Jersey. As a child, Streep loved music and practiced as an opera singer. She eventually began acting lessons and this unearthed her passion for performance. She studied drama at a variety of notable schools, including the Yale School of Drama. Streep then took part in a number of major theater productions, and through these efforts she met and became engaged to actor John Cazale. She also auditioned for the lead in the 1976 remake of King Kong, but was turned away when producer Dino De Laurentiis announced she was too unattractive for the role. Instead, Streep made her film debut in 1977's Julia. At the time, she was living in New York with Cazale when they discovered he had contracted terminal bone cancer. In an effort to spend as much time together as possible, the pair found work in 1978's The Deer Hunter. Streep then landed the starring role in the television miniseries Holocaust. In that project, she played a German woman who was married to a Jewish artist at the outbreak of the war. Unfortunately, when her overseas shooting finally ended, she returned home to find her fiancé's illness had worsened. He died soon afterwards. In the wake of this tragedy, she received a Primetime Emmy for her role in Holocaust and an Academy Award nomination for her part in The Deer Hunter. By the end of the 70s, Streep took on even more critically acclaimed roles. These included her part in Woody Allen's romantic comedy Manhattan and the 1979 political drama The Seduction of Joe Tynan. That same year, she won a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress for her part opposite Dustin Hoffman in Kramer vs. Kramer. Meanwhile, she married sculptor Don Gummer. Streep accepted many leading roles throughout the 1980s. These movies included the drama The French Lieutenant's Woman and the psychological thriller Still of the Night. Streep then became involved with Robert De Niro in Falling in Love and played a self-destructive woman in 1985's Plenty. Do you never find it in yourself to despise a profession in which nobody may speak their mind? The latter half of the decade saw Streep co-star with Robert Redford in Out of Africa. She almost had me for lunch! Well, it wasn't her fault, Meredith. She's a lion. And Jack Nicholson in both Heartburn and Ironweed. Streep earned further praise for portraying a woman convicted of murdering her infant in 1988's Cry in the Dark. That thing goes from my baby! Before she entertained crowds with much lighter comedic fare in 1989's She Devil. Overall, the actress claimed six People's Choice Awards for Favorite Motion Picture Actress in the years leading up to the 90s. That decade saw Streep in films like 1992's black comedy, Death Becomes Her, opposite Goldie Hawn and Bruce Willis. Badly, look at yourself. Huh? She continued taking diverse roles by appearing opposite Clint Eastwood in The Bridges of Madison County and by starring in The River Wild and Marvin's Room. At the turn of the millennium, Streep was cast in Steven Spielberg's AI, Artificial Intelligence. Dearest David, your wish is my command. Spike Jones's adaptation, and alongside Nicole Kidman in The Hours. She even played a supporting role in Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events before being honored with a 2004 AFI Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm, I'm so proud and, and grateful, and uh, I hope it's not the end. <laughs> However, her most prominent projects from this period were The Devil Wears Prada, the musical Mamma Mia, and Julie and Julia, in which she played chef and TV personality Julia Child. Bonjour! Streep even lent her voice to Wes Anderson's stop-motion adaptation of Roald Dahl's The Fantastic Mr. Fox. If what I think is happening is happening, it better not be. In 2011, she was cast as former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher in the biopic The Iron Lady. Meryl Streep boasts countless talents, including the ability to sing and flawlessly imitate accents. I'm Baroness Blitzen! This, paired with her willingness to take on dynamic roles, has garnered her much praise and recognition over her career. Her staggering number of Academy Award nominations and wins 
has made her the most critically acclaimed actress in contemporary film. I thank you all very much.